So can you really organize an office with things from the Dollar Tree? Well, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how I not only organized my office, but also did some super fun DIYs, all utilizing items from Dollar Tree. So if you missed my last video, we recently redid my home office to include a whole school zone for my daughter. If you need some inspiration on how to create a school workspace, check out that video. Today I'm going to walk you through how I revamped my side of the room. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Lindsay from Organized to Save and I'm here to help you get organized on a budget and Dollar Tree is where it's at. If you clicked on this video, I'm sure you're a fan of the Dollar Tree as well, or maybe you're just trying to figure out a better way to organize your space. Well, let's go ahead and for reference, take a look at what this space looked like before we added in our school zone. This space was functioning as my home office, but also a filming area as well. But now we switched things around and added the whole school zone on the other side of the room. So this room is actually a office, filming space, and classroom. Since I have that previous office tour video, which I'll have linked if you want to go check it out, I'm not going to go into the nitty gritty of behind all of the furniture pieces and that kind of stuff because you can check that out over there. But today I want to walk you through how I've reorganized my office space, created a command center up on my wall, and did some super fun DIYs. So the first thing that I needed to do was obviously move the space. So I moved my desk to a different wall and moved this chair and bookshelf over in this corner. I actually love having my desk on this wall because now it allows me to have the whole space above my desk to create a little command center area. So this calendar I got last year at the Dollar Tree. I saw them again the other week when I was there, so you can still snag these. I love this calendar because I can quickly reference it if I need to look at dates, but I can also do a massive yearly content plan out, which I'm so excited to dive into. So I knew I wanted to have a spot on the wall where I could post up different notes or things that I need to do, and it would be right in my line of sight. At the Dollar Tree, they have these awesome wooden clipboards, which I had these ones on hand already, but they're only a dollar and to not only have a functional place where you can clip up notes, but you can also use them to hang different decor pieces. And then are you ready for a super fun DIY? Now, you've probably seen these in the stores, but most of the time they're made of metal. Well, I saw this awesome idea, actually create one of these grid hanging systems using wood skewers. Yes. And I know they've sold these at the Dollar Tree before, but I just looked in my pantry and pulled these ones out. And all that I did was laid these out in a grid pattern and used a hot glue gun to secure them together. And then to finish it off and give it a fun pop of color, I used a can of spray paint in this blush pink color and it really helped tie everything together. These little wooden clips were adorable. And again, these I found at Dollar Tree. I like it because it's right in my eyesight. So that way I do not forget to do those things. Now, I really wanted to bring in a little bit of greenery and some of the boho vibes because I'm all about that right now. And I scored huge at the Dollar Tree. They have these little, they're actually plastic topiaries that are so adorable and they were only one dollar. Now I've seen other systems like this on Pinterest and they can be so expensive. I pulled from my stash of some fake succulents. I know they have sold these at the Dollar Tree in the past. These little white rocks were also from the Dollar Tree. So all that I did was put a little bit of the rocks in the bottom. I didn't go too crazy because I knew that if I had too many rocks, it would be too heavy to hang on my walls. But I put a nice layer of the rocks on the bottom and then threw a couple of the succulents in on top. I used some twine again from the Dollar Tree, little screw hooks up into my wall. I love how these are staggered on my wall in the pattern that they're at. And now it's a super fun way just to finish off this wall. There's a few things on my desk that I actually found from Amazon, but they were essential in pulling my whole desktop together. Found this stand for my computer and I love this. I like how it has all the little different divider pockets. I can keep all my essential oil roller balls, which are essential to me right there by me so I can just roll them on as I'm working. Look how it has the little tray and the pocket where my keyboard can actually hide underneath and I can put my iPad right there if I don't need it out. 
And then I also found this beautiful pink desk pad, which actually is reversible, so you can do it either gray or pink, and they have lots of different options. All of these things I'll have linked down in the description, but I like this because it is a smooth surface, so if I'm writing, it's not going to bleed through onto my wood desk. It's also waterproof, which is important because I always tend to have lots of drinks on my desk when I'm working. I really wanted to try to keep the desktop as simple as possible. There was a couple things that I need to have easily accessible. For me, sometimes if things are hidden away in a drawer, I'm not going to easily gravitate towards them. Just pulled out this little tin, again from the Dollar Tree, and threw in my office supplies that I would use on a daily basis. And then this pink basket just holds a couple of different folders of action item things that I need to attend to. Down below my desk, I have another one of those pink baskets, and that's housing all of my documents that I need to shred. I went through all of my files in my desk, which was a huge task. I had not only had files in my desk, but we also had paperwork just kind of scattered throughout the house. So I pulled it all together, sorted through everything. I'm only keeping things in my desk for this year that I need to attend to. And then things from past years, I love these file boxes from the Dollar Tree. A great way to keep all past year's files in an easy to access spot. In my desk drawers, I had these already, but they are from the Dollar Tree and they're just these clear plastic containers. I like these because you can section out and sort things by category. A little trick for you to keep these from not sliding around is to actually use blue poster putty from the Dollar Tree and stick it on the bottom of the container. So that way, as you pull the drawer in and out, your dividers are not gonna be shaking around. I honestly can't decide what my favorite part of this office is, but I absolutely love this corner over here. This is my favorite spot to come early in the morning to sit down and have my quiet devotional time and daily gratitude. It also obviously functions as a great spot for me to film videos for you. Speaking of, if you're liking this video so far, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos. I a fun little DIY on this bookshelf that I want to show you that utilizes wood beads from the Dollar Tree and a little bit of twine. I really love the style of the beaded rope decor pieces, but I wanted to see if I could tackle that in a fun DIY. All that you're gonna need for this DIY is just some twine from the Dollar Tree and a package of the colorful wood beads or they even have some darker brown ones in the hair section. So whatever ones you can get your hands on, snag those. You will be painting them if they are the colorful ones. So just keep that in mind. But all you need is to grab some twine, make two pom-poms and then simply string all the beads together. I just used some regular craft paint and just kind of mixed it to a light pink wood color color and simply painted over the beads and I love how this turned out. I think one of my favorite pieces on this bookshelf is probably my diffuser. Diffusing essential oils in my office it helps to keep me energized and creative as I'm editing videos. This room is going to function so well for us this year. It's going to be so nice for Ellie to be able to be in her own school area and for me to have my office all organized. So I actually just realized this room not only is an office, a filming space, a school zone, but also a crafting room. Yes, I have a whole crafting closet video which is on your screen right now. If you wanna see how I keep all my crafts organized, go check that out and we'll see you over there.